It is tumultuous times like those we are in right now when I like to turn to my favorite megachurch pastors for comfort, solace, and guidance. Strike and 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 strike. Africa right now. Africa right now. Africa right now. Africa right now. Go on, sister. Hamanda Akka Akka Rata Oh, I feel better already. Let's check in with Brother Kenneth for some additional spiritual healing. The media said Joe Biden's president. Ha 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 Welcome back to one of my personal favorite hobbies, uh, laughing at insane prosperity preacher types on the internet. Now this most recent presidential election has meant a lot of things to a lot of different people, right? But to me, it mostly means unbelievable reactions from some of these mega rich preachers uh, who are dealing with the fact that Donald Trump may not be reelected for a second term. Politics or not, Kenny C has been an absolute staple in my household as far as entertainment is concerned for the past couple of years. And so many of you guys watching this know that. That's why my Twitter mentions and my DMs and my email have been filled with you guys sharing these clips with me. So let's enjoy a few of these highlights from the last week together. And we're obviously gonna get to Kenny C in a second, but I wanna talk first about Paula White, who absolutely stole the show this week when a sermon that she delivered on election day went viral because for lack of a better description, it was fucking lit. Strike and 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 strike until you have victory for every enemy that is aligned against you. Let there be that we would strike the ground for you will give us victory, God. I hear a sound of abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. Now, I don't know much about Paula White except for the fact that she is slash was President Trump's faith advisor. And the clip that went viral was from, I'm sure, a much longer prayer service that was held on election night in an effort to secure Trump's re-election through the power of the Holy Spirit. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. The Lord says it is done. The Lord says it is done. Victory, 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 victory. Now it appears here to me that she's using like a high repetition scheme for this manifestation exercise. Now I can relate because when I'm in the gym sometimes, I use high rep schemes for hypertrophy, right? To build muscle mass. Same strategy deployed by Paula here. She's just using high reps of innocuous buzzwords to get the president reelected. Strike and 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 strike. 10 reps of and strike. I hear a sound of abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of shouting and singing. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of rain. Five repetitions of I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. I hear the sound of victory. The Lord says it is done. Three reps of the Lord says it is done. I like this descending rep scheme. It kind of keeps the body guessing, you know? I hear victory, victory, victory. 10 reps of the word victory and then the most important part. You finish the workout with one big superset of speaking in tongues. And as if this high volume prayer workout wasn't enough in and of itself to get the president reelected, she continues just in case there's any loose ends. Her angels have even been dispatched from Africa right now. Huh? Africa right now. Africa right now. From Africa right now. They're coming here. They're coming here. In the name of Jesus from South America. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. From Africa. From South America. Angelic forces. Angelic reinforcement. Angelic reinforcement. Angelic reinforcement. Listen, it is a fool's errand to think that popular votes and electoral college votes have anything to do with determining the outcome of this presidential election. Because right now, as we speak, Paula White has South American and African angelic forces on the way right the fuck now! Oh, well, Leon, if that's the case, then how come they already declared Joe Biden the president? Because despite what they show you in Hollywood, African angels actually fly pretty slowly, okay? South American angels are already here, but they're gonna need that African support to really turn the tide of this election. I give it a couple more days and we're gonna see the results from these angelic reinforcements. Man. Bars. Bars. 
Then she wraps it all up with one final burnout set of 15 I hear the sound of victories. I hear the sound of victory. 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 And that, my friends, is what we call the spiritual nail in the coffin on Joe Biden's chances. So for anybody laughing, saying, oh, sorry, Paula White, looks like it didn't work. Bite your tongue, okay? Don't count your eggs before the African angels hatch out of them. So here's my takeaway from the whole thing, okay? High volume, high repetition sets of manifestation. Uh, Hamanda Aka Atarata and South American and African angels. All these three things will guarantee you get a six pack in 12 weeks. Now for my main course, the skin suit wearing devil himself, Kenny C. I was noticing today, President Trump, his beautiful first lady, yeah. without masks, hmm. they are immune. Right. Huh? They are immune. Oh. oh, oh okay. And this display. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> look at this man's face right now. Look at this man's face. Hey. I think Kenneth Copeland may be one of the few people alive that has never once in their life lost a staring contest. I want to give it a shot. I can't do it. Oh, he's made of the devil. This display of our president giving God thanks and for, for helping him in that, that time. And he walked out immune. That's right. Somehow, glory to God. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, amen. Oh, Hank, come on, man. When it's your turn on the Xbox, Woo! when you nut and she don't stop sucking, Woo! when Kenneth Copeland releases some fire new material to make a video about. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, amen. Oh, Hank, come on, man. Some, we're, hey, we're, we're immune. That's right. We are now? We're immune? Wait. Him or all of us? We're, 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 we're going through this thing with, with a Holy Spirit immunity. Ah, oh, the whole... From the works of the devil. See, that's why I haven't understood all this hype around this Pfizer vaccine, right? Like, how long is that going to take? What's the efficacy rate? 90%? Woo! Okay, Kenny C., Donald Trump, and the First Lady have the Holy Spirit immunity. See, Kenny doesn't fly around the country in a private jet because he's afraid of corona. Hell no, he's got the Holy Spirit immunity. He will not fly commercial because he can't talk to God when he's in a long tube full of demons. So with a new surge in COVID going into the winter in record daily cases and a possible horrendous winter on a horizon, I feel blessed because my favorite entertainer, Kenneth Copeland, has that Holy Spirit immunity. And that, my friends, is reason for a... Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, amen. So that was a fun one that happened before the election, but then uh, his response to Joe Biden being declared president is the new is the new jam right here. Let's the media said what? <laughs> the media said Joe Biden's president. Ha 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 give you a little context, all right? This is obviously part of a larger message during this sermon, I'm sure. If we could get some context, that would be great. Laughter is a deterrent to pain. You see where he's coming from now? Now, he said at John Ho Johns Hopkins, John Hopkins, <laughs> and they have people that lead in laughter. Wow. Wow. I fucking love the people in the crowd. They're like, wow. Oh, praise the Lord. Yes. So how do we count it? All joy. Mm -hmm. Well, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and it begins. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Ha, 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 The Associated Press said that Joe Biden is president. Ha! 
<laughs> you see, Kenny's not just some insane sociopath. He's leading with laughter. You just laugh the pain away. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's going to be president. Mickey Mouse is going to be king. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, he's not kidding. It is contagious as shit. I'm dying over here. But uh, first of all, what the hell does Mickey Mouse have to do with this? Mickey's a goat, so leave him out of it. Secondly, what a completely normal crowd of people. Now, nah, I'm joking. They're insane. And here's, here's actually a laugh track to accentuate my sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Honest question, has he had a brain injury of some type? We're talking about perhaps... And maybe. My friend Amanda here confirming what I have firmly believed from the beginning. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, Kenneth Copeland is Edgar from Men in Black. I'm gonna make work here! It means worlds to me. Oh, I'd like to have it back. Listen, I don't have anything else I could possibly add on a more serious, profound note that I haven't maybe covered in previous videos about prosperity preachers. It is just mystifying to me on an existential level that these individuals continue to have large swaths of people that look to them for guidance. One of the cruel realities of life is that most things are impossible to understand. So I just like to sit back and enjoy this incredible content being put forth by people like Kenneth and Paula White uh, and just kind of hanging on to the rails for dear life on this insane ride through the election season. I appreciate you all for watching and I appreciate you all as fellow humans that just want what's best for you and your families and your loved ones. We've become obsessed it is part of the human condition to hyper-focus, to put a magnifying glass over what makes us different when in reality, most of us, almost all of us, pretty much want the same thing. And sometimes it's nice to remember that. I hope you're all having a great week. We'll see you in the next one. Hold the fuck on! Oh my gosh. I almost, I almost forgot to remind you guys to hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me, which I always appreciate. And if you could subscribe if you haven't already, that would mean the world. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace. <laughs> You, you, you.